<clears throat> Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve two very simple, straightforward problems number 129 and 130. Problem number 129, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says, find a number such that its fifth part is less than its third part by 10. So if you take the fifth of the number, whatever that number is, let's call it x. If you take a fifth of it, we're told that this quantity is less than the third part by 10. So if you, again, if you take a third of it, what they're trying to tell us is that the difference between the third, third of the number and the fifth of the number has to equal 10. That's all it is. All we have to do is solve this simple linear equation. One more time, find the number such that the fifth part, the fifth part is less than the third part by 10. In other words, the third of the number exceeds the fifth by 10. Let's find out, shall we? We have a denominator of five here, we, uh, of three here, we have a denominator of five here, and we have a denominator of one over here. That won't do. We need to have a common denominator before we can proceed. The common denominator, of course, here would be 15, three times five. So let's make the common denominator of 15. We have a three here. In the first term, we have a denominator of three here. How can we find make, make it a 15? It's very simple. Take the quantity and multiply it by five over five. Voila. So that part is done. We have a denominator of 5 here, we need 15, let's multiply that quantity by 3 over 3. So that part is done. We have a denominator of 1 here, we need 15, let's multiply it top and the bottom by 15. There you go. Now everything has a denominator of 15, we are at liberty now to simply ignore it because it plays no role, it ceases to become significant, it ceases to play any role because everybody has a denominator of 15. Which means we can ignore it and now we can have 5 times x which is 5x minus 3 times x which is 3x and that would have to equal 10 times 15. 5x minus 3x is 2x which is equal to 10 times 15 which means x would have to be if you divide both sides by 2 we can get rid of the 2 and x would have to equal 10 times 15 over 2 let's divide top and bottom by 2 2 goes away and 10 becomes 5 and 5 times 15 we find out that it is 75. We're not quite done yet. We need to verify our answer as always. So we're going to take a few seconds to do just that. The problem tells us that if you were to take a fifth of it and a third of it, third, third of 75, if you were to take a third of 75, a third of 75 is 25. And if you were to take a fifth of it, fifth of 75 is 15. And we are told that the third of the quantity exceeds the fifth by 10 question is, does it? 25 minus 15 is indeed 10, which means our answer is correct. Which means our answer is correct. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Second problem says, find a number such that, such that it's It's five six. It's five six exceeds. It's three quarters by five. By five. Let's find out, shall we? What that is? We need the room, obviously. 5, 6 exceeds, so if you were to take the 5, 6 of the number, if you were to take the 5, 6 of the quantity, let's call it x again, it ex this quantity, we are told, exceeds 3 quarters, exceeds 3 quarter of the quantity by 5. By 5, that's what it is. The 5, 6 of the quantity, which we are calling x, exceeds 3 quarter of the quantity by 5. In other words, the difference between the 5 sixths of the quantity and the 3 quarter is 5. We have a denominator of 6 here, we have a denominator of 4 here, 
the least common multiplier here is going to be 12 because we can divide 12 by 6 and we can divide 12 by 4. So 12 is what we need here. We need the common denominator of 12, which means every term has to have a denominator of 12. Here we have a denominator of 6 here. That won't do. We need 12. How can we make it into 12? Well, it's a simple. Multiply the quantity by 2 over 2. So that part is done. Here we have a denominator of 4. We need 12. Multiply this quantity by 3 over 3. So now we have 3 quarter times x times 3 over 3. And here we need a denominator of 12. So multiply that by 12 over 2. There you go. Now every term has a denominator of 12. Makes our life easier because now we are at liberty to simply ignore the denominator. The rest is very straightforward. The rest is same as before, of course. So here we have 2 times 5, which is 10. 10 times x is 10x minus 3 times 3, which is 9. So it's 9x. 9 times x, 9x equals 5 times 12. 5 times 12. That's it. We're done because 9x, 10x minus 9x, 6x. So this is just x. There is your answer. 5 times 12, which is 60, which means x is equal to 60. So that was quite straightforward. We need to quickly, quickly verify our answer, make sure that this answer does actually make sense based on what we are told in the problem. So 5, 6 of 60. So if you were to take 5, 6 of 60, we have a 60 on the top, we have 6 at the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 6. 6 is going to go away and 60 is going to become 10. So that's 50. And if you were to take a 3 quarter of it, 3 quarter of 60, again we have 60 on the top, 4 at the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 4. 4 is going to go away and 60 is going to become 15. 3 times 15 is 45. And the problem tells us that the 5 6, which we found to be 50, exceeds the 3 quarter, which we found to be 45, by 5. Does the 5 6 50, does 50 exceed 45 by 5? The answer is yes. Which means we did not make a boo-boo. I know.